If you're unfamiliar with Immersive Reader from Microsoft, let me show you one way I use it. This is Word Online, and when I'm done writing, I click on the View menu and then go to Immersive Reader. You can have your writing read back to you. This is great for proofreading, and that is just one of the amazing features. Where is it available? It's in OneNote, it's in Word, it's in Outlook, Edge, Teams, Forms, Flipgrid, Minecraft, Office Lens. However, in June of 2019, Microsoft announced that they were opening up Immersive Reader to third parties, and the list continues to grow. I'll put all these links below, but if you look, you can see some of the programs that are now incorporating Immersive Reader. Today I'm going to focus on Helperbird. All of these are amazing, but if you're in a Google district, you'll notice that Google isn't on the list, despite the fact that I've been asking them since June of 2019 to add it. Google has similar accessibility features, but none of them hold a candle to Microsoft's Immersive Reader. Recently, my colleague, showed me a video by Matt Bergman, which I will link below, where he was using Immersive Reader in Google Docs, thanks to Helperbird. So I'm gonna show you how that works. First, you wanna add the extension. Now I'm going to pin that extension so it shows up on my toolbar. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is open a new doc. And I'll just copy that text from my Word document and paste it into my Google Doc. There are a few settings you need to do with the Helperbird extension. So click on it. I like to keep the font options marked as a favorite. So you just click on the three dots and click favorite. And then I'm going to scroll way down to Immersive Reader and also pin that as a favorite. So now when I go back up to the top, I want to show favorites only. I want my menu highlighted and I want the toolbar menu turned on. Now you'll notice a new bar has appeared at the top of my Google Doc with this book icon. If I click the book icon, it will give me a reminder that I need to highlight some text. So I'm going to highlight the text that I want read back to me and then click the book icon. and immediately it opens in Immersive Reader View, where I can have it read aloud, I can adjust the speed, I can change the background to make it easier to read, and there are 21 different colors to choose from. I can highlight parts of speech to help me with my proofreading, break the words into syllables, and in reading preferences, I can focus on one line at a time as it reads it aloud to me. I also have Picture Dictionary, where I could click words and it would show me pictures to prompt me what that word might be. But even better, I can translate. So I can choose a language in the list, and I can choose to translate it by word or translate the full document. And with many of those languages, it also reads it aloud in that language. And you can switch back between the original language and the translated language. So I hope you'll check out Helperbird and start using Immersive Reader, which is phenomenal.